can we talk about Carl Gotch and catch wrestling? Because <laughs> I do want to make sure I touch, I touch uh, it. I mean, what? Uh, who were? Yo, Carl do, Gotch is. Uh, is he the greatest catch wrestler? I don't Dude, know if he mind? was the greatest catch wrestler ever. I don't. I don't. I mean, he's one of them in, for, the, for a myriad of. Uh, of uh, Carl Gotch, uh, Billy Robinson, uh, Gotch and Robinson's trainer, Billy Riley. Um, so who are these figures and what do they bring? Mitsuo Maeda, he's one of the greatest catch wrestlers ever because right. he's responsible for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu right. along with Gustavo Gracie. Okay, there's a bunch of things I'd like to say here, but one of the things that, that catch wrestling seemed to espouse as a principle is mm -hmm. that of violence. I, I, I just, the, the tournaments I competed at, uh, the unfortunate thing, and we'll mm -hmm. probably hopefully talk about it a little bit, they were disorganized and the level of competition was pretty low. Sure. Like people really sucked. Pretty typical. <laughs> Is that typical? Okay. Well, it's, it's, I mean, think about, um, you know, local run of the mill, yes. uh, jujitsu tournament versus IBJJF created, yeah. you know, a vast difference. So, so I, you know, but there is a, to me as a human being, the like intellectually, philosophically, it was more interesting to go to a catch wrestling tournament. It seemed more real and honest because of the way they communicate about violence I love and aggression. That, that and so it is, it is often uh, more honest. I think that who as- Who is that from? Is that originated from Gosh? Is that really mm, Rob? Is that well, I mean, it originates from all wrestling in that uh, even Wade, Wade Chalice, not a, not a classically considered catch wrestler, yet the reason why he has the world record for most amount of uh, world champions pinned or the record for pins in the NCAA is because, well, of course the idea is to put you on your back and to pin you, but you're, there's no way you're gonna let me do that. Uh, so how do I make it so that you want me to pin you? Well, <laughs> it's by you put them in excruciating pain. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you're both there. You both wanna win neither one wants to allow anything to the other yeah so how do i how do i get you to lose to me well, i make it so unbearable for you that you decide losing is better than staying so those are two those two are so fascinating because so coming from russia i don't know if that's where i got it or if it's just my own predisposition is i always loved the th there's two ways to get you to want to pin yourself yeah one is to making it so painful not to pin yourself that you pin yourself or whatever. And the other is, it's sort of like uh, Bruce Lee water flows. Ma mm -hmm. Make it so easy to pin yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's technique, it's like the elegance, the ease of movement. This is the uh, Satyev brothers, Vasya mm -hmm. uh, Satyev, uh, like the, just the elegance, the efficiency. Yeah, they're practicing the like ballet watching those yeah. guys. You know, it's incredible. Satyev brothers are massive. and. Uh, so and those I'll, are the I'll, two I'll, paths, I'll, right? I'll also caveat a little bit that, like, uh, if you're if you're approaching this from a, a, a Russian perspective, yeah. Russians are quite truthful about things, uh, especially when it comes to something like combat. They just this is how it is, yeah. and this is how it's going to be. It's honest, yes. But, but and the honesty is what I really like about uh, catch wrestling because I find that we, given any opportunity for us to be dishonest for any number of reasons, we're gonna. Uh, yeah. especially if it's a dishonesty towards a positive, right? Like, oh, well, you know, it's all technique and it's all this and it's the gentle art and blah. Bro, I have rolled with ADCC world champions, you know, some of the best you have ever heard of. There ain't a lot of gentleness <laughs> when it comes to like, oh yeah, they wanted to sweep you and you said no. <laughs> and then you did said no again. Yeah. And then you said no and attacked their leg. Yeah, it, it ceases to be all that gentle yeah. because at the end of the day, these dudes are strong as hell. They're flexible. They're all, I mean, they're, they're the difference between the athleticism and, and the, the ability to actually win is a pretty wide gap. The athleticism shows up, but then there's all that other extra. And part of that is meanness and, and pain and uh, getting what you need out of it. But see, there is a philosophical difference in the way it's thought because i think some of it is just they just in denial like oh people will they, they like to people like to espouse a lot of things as theory and then it's like okay let me watch when they're oh you're not doing anything about what you said right now in fact you're doing the opposite you're you're literally hurting that guy because you your shit ain't working 
in the way that you'd like it to. So you're having to use strength. You're having to, that's one of my favorites, like, oh, you're using too much strength. And it's like, well, hold on. Do we want people not to use strength at this point to understand more of mechanics? Or are you trying to tell people if they use strength at all, uh, that they're somehow bad at what they do? Because, you know, it's not my fault you're not stronger than me. But see, I'm speaking of something else that's, uh, that's... Well, I tend to think what it comes down to is yes. like, strength is fine until you beat me with it. <laughs> Then it sucks. See, but, okay, so strength is another thing. I, I'm speak. I'm thinking about more like anger. Oh, sure. Okay, so like the, a lot I, of angry guys in jujitsu. I know that. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, but let's Tons talk about. Them. Let's talk about. They're only human. The highest level mm -hmm. of competitions. There's a book called Wrestling Tough. Yeah. It's a really good book. There's I've I've encountered in my life a few, uh, especially in wrestling, people who really try to find a way to use anger, to get really angry at their opponent. Mm. Not like stupid anger, but just like- Intense, I, pointed uh, anger uh, distilled into something uh, that you can use yeah. as fuel. And like, there, there, I remember the story, I don't know where I read it, it might be Wrestling Tough, where a person was imagining that their opponent just raped their mother, raped their uh, girlfriend or something like that to, to create this like method acting thing in their head to be like, to, to snap them out of this polite interaction of usual like athletic convention mm. and like, you know, and what? really That's go to the primitive side. design of necessity. So my anecdote for this was I was sitting with uh, backstage before a fight, <clears throat> not my fight. And I'm, I'm working with this guy and this dude is, this is a, this is a world champion guy. Uh, and he competed at the highest levels. Uh, and he, he looks at me and he goes, hmm, you know, I'm, you ever get nervous before fights? And I looked at him and I went, no, I don't. And he just looks at me, he's like, fuck, man, I'm so nervous. You know, I, how do you do it, man? Well, you know, I, I wish I could be like you. And I said, you know what? That doesn't mean that what I'm doing is better. It's just what is necessary for me. It's the way I am. Mm -hmm. And I told him, and so this anecdote goes into another anecdote. This is a Family Guy episode, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> where some uh another famous high level guy told me about this experience with a, a world champion boxer in japan and this guy would get insanely nervous and worked up and anxious before his matches and he hated it and hated it and hated it and so he wanted to get rid of that feeling so he went to a hypnotist for a bunch of sessions and managed to and he goes in and you know, next fight he's like cool as a cucumber and doesn't perform and loses. And so what I said, going back to anecdote one, was, uh, you know, whatever is necessary for you to get yourself in the best state of being right now to compete, whatever that may be, it could be absolute stress and fear, it could be anger, it could be calmness, it could be whatever, but there is <laughs> a- So brilliant. But there is a, a there's a state at which you need to be in to do your best. And you as the individual, you have to find that.